Hi! This is the fourth video of chapter 1, Perfect Competition. In this video we will see the supply in the short run and we will also talk about the elasticity. So just to begin with the firm supply in the short run, as we have seen in the last video, we know that there are two main points to see if the firm is having profits or not and to see if it's going to keep producing or not. The first point is the break-even point and this point is when the price and the marginal cost in the maximization coincide with the average total cost which is here. What will happen is that the, the profits will be zero However, in the short run, the firm is going to keep producing. Then the second point that we had was this one, the short term point. When the price coincides with the marginal cost and it coincides with the average variable cost, it means that the profits are going to be negative and at this point, the company will be indifferent between keeping producing or just shutting down. Then from this point to any other below, we will see that the firm is going to produce zero because it will be not covering any of its costs. Then the firm will supply any quantity that equals to the marginal cost when the price maximizes the benefits then when the price equals to the marginal cost, it will produce any quantity that, that equals to the marginal cost until the shutdown point, and below this point, it will produce zero. Okay, so these lines are showing the firm supply. That will go here, zero, 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 and from here, will equal to the marginal cost. What happened with the industry? instead of the firm. If we pay attention to the industry, we will see that the industry supply will depend on what quantity, which quantity are producing each of the firms. Then we will have, for example, three firms in this market, the firm number one, number two, and number three, and these are the supply curves for each of the firms. When the price is one, only one of the firms, number three, is going to produce a quantity. So the industry supply when the price is one will coincide with the supply of this particular firm because the other two are not going to supply any quantity of product at this low, lower price. If the price increases in the market, then the other two companies are going to produce something. One will produce two, the other will produce five, and the third will produce a quantity that is eight, approximately. So, how do we know what is going to be supplied in the whole industry? So, what we have to do is to sum each quantity to sum each quantity at this price. Then we will sum two plus five plus 8, and we will have that the industry supply will be 15. So this red line is the industry supply. What happens if the price increases and it goes to 3? Then in 3, the firm number 1 is going to supply 4 units of products. Firm, firm number 2 is going to supply 7 units of products, and the number 3 will offer 10 units of products. Then 4 plus 7 plus 10, in the industry we will have 21 units in total. So this is how we can find the industry supply. Then let's have a look at the elasticity of supply. The elasticity of supply refers to how much the quantity varies when the price is going to vary in one unit. So the elasticity of supply will be will mean the variation in the quantity supplied 
when the price varies in one unit. And this is the equation to express this. The variation of the quantity supply divided by the variation of the price. And then multiplied by the price and divided by the quantity. And this is the same than saying the derivative of the uh, function of the supply, the supply function, with respect to the price, multiplied by the price and divided by the quantity, at this point where we want to find elasticity. And this is the end of this video, and see you in the next one.